Yes. <clears throat> All right. Okay, so welcome everybody to a lovely, wonderful time here. Honestly, can I do this? Oh, I can do that. Nice. I should probably set something as the background. Mm. All right, let's do that. Add image. Bam. Background? Oh, okay. Is this not the same size as my background? Oh, it isn't. I didn't know that. Gotta make sure the Bucky's is in there. And... BAM! Alright, I'm here. Alright, everybody. It's your boy, Curio. It's me. It's yes. It's me. I'm here. Alright, so I said- I told everybody on... Yesterday. Got it. Uh, I told everybody yesterday that I would start doing these videos where like I kind of went over what I did over the week, what I'm planning on doing in the future, you know, just a couple of like kind of like an update type thing, you know, where everybody knows what's going on. You know, I've started streaming less, so a lot of people kind of like might be wondering what I'm doing, all that good shit. And I'm here to tell you, I'm here to put your, put those worries to rest and just let you guys know what's going on. So I wrote some notes, believe it or not. All right, this week's overview. So over this past week, I started, well, actually about two months ago, I would say, I vowed to you guys, I said it. I said, Curio is going to make models from scratch. No holds barred. It's done. It's a done deal. I'm taking this shit seriously. And to that end, I feel like I've done a pretty good job. Um, 3D modeling is, uh, I'm pretty sure many of you realize, very, very difficult. It's a very difficult thing to do. And uh, it takes a lot of research. I spend a lot of my time just watching videos and seeing what other people do. It's, a, it's an art. It's an art form. It's not necessarily as free flow as many of the other art flows out there, but you know, it's, it does it, it's tough. So I made some hands, I made some feet, and uh, I think it's safe to say that I never want to make feet again. It really sucked. It was very difficult. I hated it a lot. Uh, honestly, over the course of modeling anything, I have never taken so little enjoyment in doing something and wanted it to be done more than modeling those feet. Modeling those feet was actually hell. The hands on the other hand, they didn't turn out as well as I thought they would. There are some minor things for it, but hands are like super important in VR because everybody looks at them all the time when they're bored. They're just like looking at their waifu hands. I do it all the time. It's like the only thing that I do. And uh, they need to be perfect for that re for that reason, so I need to kind of put more time into it. So I'm definitely going to be putting more time into the hands, the feet. I mean, I have a very high standard, so I need them to look good. But I can't really say I care that much. Um, I would definitely say that the hands were easier for me than the feet, but that's because I know what hands look like and... I honestly don't know what the fuck feet look like. I, I'm sorry. I, I didn't. I haven't studied feet in my life. I'm not a feetologist, so I can't. I can't help you with that one. Things I can change or do differently. Um, I don't know. I haven't really gotten to a point to where I understand what I'm doing well enough to be able to figure out how I could do it better. I think that's probably the best answer that I can muster there. Um. It's a mess, it's a mess for sure. All right. So I told you guys a couple of days ago that I would be doing some interesting stuff 
in the future. And this is a perfect place to talk about it more. I um wanted to I wanted to like uh dive into graphic novels to some extent because I feel like I as a when I was growing up I was always really interested in graphic novels I was always really interested in like making or like I would I'd skip, I'd skip school I would skip school and I'd go to the library and I'd read Spider-Man like literally that's what I would do I would go to school and I'd read Spider-Man all day because I was just I I don't know it just uh, it, it passes the time I guess but it's really good especially Ultimate Spider-Man that was my shit I read like every single one of uh, ultimate spider-man um they uh i think that it's an art form that i could expand upon and as many of you know i'm two-dimensionally retarded i am incapable of drawing uh i say that but i kind of did an okay job this past week on that that character reference sheet that i made i'm really working on it it's very important and um but I, I think that if I could go in a three-dimensional direction and a game design direction, then I really feel like I could probably pull something together to where I can make a, a graphic novel with interactive slides, you know, like it, it's kind of like it reads like a, it reads like a comic book. And the way that I envision it is it reads like a comic book, but each specific panel has its own scene that plays through a short animation to be able to create the direction it's kind of like the live 2d things that you see a lot but if i did it in a modeling perspective as opposed to a drawing perspective then i'd only really need to make the models one time and i could just use those models and really build upon the story around the models as opposed to the models themselves which is a direction that i've been wanting to go for a while with character design and all of that other stuff so it's kind of like uh it's kind of a goal, I guess you could call it. It's not really, uh, it's a long, a very long-term goal, a very long-term goal, because I would have to figure out how Unity works. I would have to figure out how making a game in Unity works. Um, but I could imagine there being, if I did a good job, people have usually said that I'm a pretty good writer, so I could probably, <laughs> okay, let me tell you guys about this fucking, let me tell you guys about the story that I'm planning on putting together. All right. Waifus. Every single main character is going to be a waifu. All of them. If it's not, there's going to be like one or two dudes. They're all going to be waifus. All right. President of the United States. She's a waifu. Main character. She is a waifu. Aliens invading species. They're waifus. All right. Everything is going to be a waifu. And I'm gonna play it off of. I have a. I have some cool ideas. Basically, what I'm. I, I suppose this is a good time to talk about it. Is any. Um, my ideas for this. Uh, so far. So. I'm sure many of you know that I'm a history buff to some extent. I. I like history. If there is a history book in front of me, I would read it as opposed to not reading it. Um. Something that's always interested me is the. Uh, you know the then colonial the colo colonists the colonists the colonists and the native americans you see one thing that people seem to think about native americans is that uh when we came to the united states that now united states north america um that like we came in guns blazing and like we just conquered them we we're just like hell yeah like get down this is our this is our world now no what happened was is actually not only did we did the did the colonists approach diplomatically, they played the inner strife of the Native Americans off of each other because they were, believe it or not, the uh, can't remember the name of it, but it was like the five the five great the five great whatever the actual name of it was. It's been a while, but uh, they the there was only really one united body of. Uh, Native Americans and the rest of them were just fighting each other and killing each other all the time. And I was thinking about that from a perspective of imagine if you would that exact scenario, right? But we moved it forward. And we had the colonial the colonists, I don't know why I keep on calling them colonials, the colonists being aliens, right? And they came to our planet, obviously the United States, it has to be <laughs> Has, it's either it has to be the United States or Japan, and it's going to be the United States. And um, 
And they did the exact same thing because we're currently fighting each other, inner strife, all of that other stuff. So that was kind of my preface. There's going to be some dumb shit in there. You got to have the dumb shit anime graphs where it's like, where they're like, I actually already have it in my mind. I don't want to spoil it for you guys because it's, uh, because it's just that good. But needless to say, there's going to be some stupid anime plot in there. I'm going to, it's going to be at least 30% satirical. Um, but the fucking, you can be satire or not in the anime genre and it still just falls directly with, into the boundaries of what the fuck they expect. It's, it's actually a joke. It's so stupid, but it's lovely. And that's what I'm planning on doing is something interesting like that. So that's, so stay tuned for that. I might start designing characters for that. Cause I'm going to probably have a cast of like 15 or 20 waifus for that one. And that's going to be a lot of character design. It's going to be a lot of character design. So I might start working on that in the near future. What else do we got? Okay, uh, so... I want to make an FAQ, and I want to answer those FAQ... Qs on this specific thing right here. This little address, you might call it. The Curio address. Um, I'm probably not going to call it that, because that might confuse people. And then get me doxxed. Um... So I'm going to make like a curious cat or something. You guys can ask questions there and I'll answer them on the stream. I want to do this. I want to do this on Wednesday of each week. Release it to patrons on Wednesday. Um, because Wednesday is my short day because it's my off day. Or I play other games like League or Rainbow Six. And uh, then I want to release it to everybody else on Friday. And then, you know, let everybody else soak in the grandeur as it were. Um, oh yes, so this is actually pretty important. It's a very important thing. Uh, infrastructure, we're talking about infrastructure. So with my stream, I've always designed it in a way that's like, uh, it's kind of like future oriented. It's future proofing, right? I make it so things can, when I make them in the first place, I don't really take into account the numbers that I have. I always take it into account how many numbers there could be. And, uh, that's why I fucking have a Patreon with, like, 12 people. I mean, don't get me wrong. I'll talk about that in a second. My patrons, you guys are amazing. But, like, you know, I have a Patreon with 12 people. I have a Discord with 400 people. I have, you know, all these other things. But all of them are built in a way to be, if there was, like, fucking, like, 30,000 people in either of those, I mean, I'm not talking about my Patreon right now because my Patreon's a joke, but... If there were like 30,000 people in my Discord, then I believe that it could probably handle at least a relatively significant portion of that. Um, so my Patreon, is what, which is what I'm trying to talk about right now, is that I need to kind of develop it further in that direction to where once I start moving into the graphic novel area and the, you know, pushing towards that, then I will be able to do that in the future. So obviously there's a lot of work ahead of me, but I mean, it's not, it's labor of love. You know, you know me, man. I'm not, I ain't complaining. You guys know what I sound like when I complain. All right. Thanks and stuff. That's literally what I wrote down. Okay. So, uh, this past week was actually a pretty amazing week. In fact, ever since I started streaming models again, I'm, uh, I'm floored by the amount of support that I've been getting. It's actually kind of crazy. Um, I feel like I'm kind of fulfilling, uh, like a, I, I, I kind of carved out a spot in the creation of VR chat back in, in like January of 2018. And when I left it, that spot really never filled in. In fact, it just, it was just kind of vacant the entire time because nobody ever really showed up to be kind of, I don't know, whatever the fuck you describe me as making models. Uh, Chanzo has stayed where he's at. He hasn't really like, or he hasn't really grown. He hasn't really fallen off at all he's really just stayed at the same viewership for like two years and i was but i was beneath him at like you know 80 viewers or whatever and i feel like honestly if i keep on going i stream art i stream all that stuff i try to get some exposure on the table i have no doubts that my channel is going to continue growing so i just feel like you know i appreciate you guys you know i love you guys you guys are really really important towards the stream and towards everything and honestly i can live without you guys so my patrons my sweet sweet patrons i appreciate you guys i want to tell you guys that i consider you guys like the board 
All right, you guys are my board of directors. I mean, you guys give me no direction whatsoever, but that's honestly optimal because I don't want your direction. And I'm sure that you guys understand that. I'm sure that you guys appreciate my not wanting your direction. And, um, and yeah, you guys are great. You guys are honestly, should really ri you guys really rise up above the, uh, the viewers and you guys really contribute and you guys really help out. And honestly, that's like, that's more than I can ask of anybody. It's super important to me. So thank you. And I appreciate you guys a lot. Um, if you guys ever want anything, just let me know. I'll see what I can do for you. You guys know how it is. All right. So that about concludes the first video in the series. It's kind of a mess. I'm sorry. Uh, I'm probably not going to edit it at all, uh, including the part where at the beginning of it, I uh, spend about 30 seconds just making noises. I hope you guys appreciate that and enjoy it. And yeah, I love you guys. And thank you very much. Mwah. Oh, I might stream with the camera more. Maybe. I don't know. Stream with the camera. such a pain in my ass. All right, everybody. Bye. I love you guys. Have a good one.